It's freezing. Good morning, family. It is 7.30 in the morning, and I gotta be at school at around 8. And so, let's go. Which, you know, 8 o'clock isn't too bad, considering, like, most of my days start, like, at, like, 5, 6. But today, I'm just, like, exhausted. Like, I slept, okay, I'll, I'll be honest, I slept, like, at, like, like 3.30. In my defense, I was putting in work yesterday, guys. I was being super productive. All right, plenty, 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 plenty. Oh, there you go. Oh, Chad! Chad! <laughs> but yeah guys, so for this month I'm actually doing the educational vlog so I have no clinical duties for the month of, ah, for the month of February. Pretty much what that means is I, I come into school maybe every few days and teach the first and second years kind of part of their like, what, what is it? It's, it's called problem based learning or PBLs um, but I need to get inside before it's too late. <laughs> I was scared, I was scared it wasn't gonna work. I haven't, I haven't been to school in a while. Two hours later. Oh man. Uh, okay, alright. It is, it is like, it is like 12.30, almost 1, and I am exhausted. I got like a few hours of sleep. But hey, no, no complaints. Um, but I'm gonna go home, probably have some lunch. Um, probably take a nap. But yeah, alright guys, I'll see you guys soon. Oh man! All right, so uh, <laughs> I just I just woke up, guys. It's like uh, what time is it, man? Um, it is three. Oh my god! Okay, it's almost four. Oh, I, okay. I just slept the I just slept the last few hours. I'm man, I'm exhausted, guys. But this is this is the life of a fourth year, dude. Like it, it's dope. It's 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 so much like it's so much more than what like you know the first three years have been and obviously you know I've had, I've had my like heavy rotations where i was on like icu or i was doing my sub eye um you know in medicine or i was doing an anesthesia away or something like that and oh shoot yeah well i'm applying anesthesia <laughs> I know a lot of you guys were asking. Um, I told you guys it'd be a surprise, but if you guys are watching this video, this is the surprise. You guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, but what to, what to do right now, guys? It's it's four. I'm waiting for like Michael to come home. Maybe we'll go gym. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. All right, let's go for a nice little walk, guys. I feel like let's. I feel like we haven't had a heart to heart in like months so i was like you know what let me just go for a nice little walk talk to talk to my family talk to my peeps kind of kind of explain what's been going on as far as like fourth year is concerned and kind of like my feelings with how things have been changing and the you know think there's so many changes that are about to be coming these next few months guys and it's 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 crazy like my my rank list is due and like what's today the sixth like 20 days and it's just i don't know it's just there's a lot of changes happening <laughs> like in a short amount of time but it's okay. It's okay, guys. Like this is this is all part of the process. It's all part of the journey. Um, and for those of you guys that don't know what like a rank list is, so I'm in my fourth year right now, and so that means I'm I'm in the process of applying to residencies. And so I've applied to all these places. So just for example, let's say I applied to like ten places. I interview at ten places, and then so now what I have to do is kind of put those places in order. Is it clear in the way? Put those places in like, like rank them in order one through 10 or however many ranks I choose um, to kind of decide where I'll be at. And you know, like this, this, this rank list, this decision kind of like it, it affects like the next like chunk of my life. And it's just, it's, it's not that I'm nervous or that I'm scared. I think it's just something different. And I think that's a, I think it's something that it's, it's, it's I guess this is something that we all have to deal with. It's such, it's like, you know, whether we're applying for undergrad, whether we're applying for med school, whether we're applying for residency, it's all, it's all, it's just different. It's just change. And not that it's, not that it's any worse or any better or anything like that, but it's just different. And I guess we just, we just got to be okay with it because it's going to happen regardless. You know, life is all about making 
making these lists and making these hard decisions and making these decisions that seem like they're such a big deal at the time and then when you look back at it in like retrospect you're like you know what what was i even like tripping out about you know but we're gonna be all right guys i have i have full faith but you know what i've really been trying to work on um these last few months especially especially the last few months that i have before graduation like i have a lot of time and so the what i've been really trying to focus on is try to just better myself try to like increase my knowledge in in areas outside of medicine um and what i mean by like what i mean by that is like you know like i've i've spent the last like eight years learning science medicine bio how to heal how to like just how to take care of people but i feel like what we didn't really learn in the process was like how to how to balance other aspects of our lives how to how to run a business how to invest how to do finances how to do accounting how to like just like the real life practical things that i feel like we kind of missed out on and you know like it's like one thing that i don't want to do is like okay so doctors are they're generally seen as like one of the smartest people in society or like you know like they they're so smart they know everything and i think that's you know it's you gotta kind of step back and kind of as as a future doctor or you know as doctors yourselves know like the limitations and like of of your knowledge and what you don't know so like you know like do you know finances do you know how to run a business do you know how to do this and that and and <laughs> the answer is like no probably not and that's okay um but you just got to accept that you got to be okay with learning and just knowing what you don't know and like it's 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 different because you don't know what you don't know but you kind of have to you kind of have to figure out you know the extent of your knowledge or like where it stops and just try to better yourself so i've been buying a ton of books like i bought a book on real estate i bought a book on like taxes i bought a book on like accounting and i've been reading that like like no other i've been reading all these personal finance books just because you know the next i'm you know the next few years are gonna be major changes and i don't want to make any mistakes and and like another thing that's like you know in the back of my head um and i'm like walking around in circles guys so if i'm making you guys dizzy i'm like i'm so sorry people are like staring at me like who is this like cuckoo uh, <laughs> i haven't uh, but yeah no, no, another thing that kind of that not scares me that or that i kind of think about is how like my social circle is going to change or how my friend like the the close people around me how how those dynamics are going to change just because so for the last like eight years i've been going to the same school i've been with the same group of guys same group of friends um and we all like we all went to undergrad together all went to med school together we're about to graduate together and it's you know and residency is one of those things that we we might get placed all over the place um which is just that's just the nature of it and i guess it just kind of it it, it gets a little sad because i'm like you know i these are these are guys that i like pretty much grew up with you know like i, I spent a chunk of my you know life whatever <laughs> um you know with these guys and so it's just i don't know it's it, but it comes with the territory guys but yeah i'll i'll, I'll miss you guys and I guess I'm just kind of going on a rant right now and just like just just letting you guys know how I feel But you know, I was like, let's let's have a little heart to heart Like I need to I want you guys to know like what what this process is it's not it's you know One thing that I feel like we kind of have to do as like med med student creators or physician creators or whatever is like create a level of transparency and kind of like the reality of going into medicine and going into like med school and go you know going down this path and i feel like one thing that we kind of have to do um is kind of it's i feel like we kind of glamorize all like we only show the good parts like we only talk about like you know like we do shoot, let me get out the way um you know we do all these day in the lives we do all these like study videos we do all these like random like like all the content on youtube is it kind of shows you all the like the good stuff everybody's like oh you know i'm studying i'm doing all this and all that but it doesn't really show you the big picture and i feel like that's something that we kind of have to talk about is like you know all these changes that happen all these feelings that you have to deal with all these other aspects of medicine that nobody really talks about so i was like you know what let me let me let me let, me let the family know because it's real that's this these are these are real issues these are real things and yeah i think i, I, think I should go inside now Woo two hours later all right so we actually did make it to the gym uh with hey 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 who is this who is this it's your boy mike g we got mike g vlogs we made it to the gym hey mike what are we in today Ooh. 
I think today is a back end buys kind of day. All right, I don't like doing buys too much, but hey, uh, Michael, when's the next video coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 peachy little girl, I just wanna talk to you yeah. Take your time, I don't wanna pressure you to say yeah Cause you're x man and waste man, you know that I'm all But I stay up, yeah. looking at me like I'm your way yeah. I don't really mind cause you look so fine Yeah, I don't really mind if we dance all night Shawty, hope you don't mind if I make you mine Or we could take it slow and I'll sit sideline But like a real pro <laughs> Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end off the video here. I think no one really wants to watch uh, uh, <laughs> I was working out um, But you know a lot of you guys after I posted my last video where I was talking about how I lost a lot of weight I went from like pretty much like 200 to like 145 um, A lot of you guys hit me up and asked about like my weight loss journey and kind of like what I did to lose weight um, And kind of like the dieting and exercise that I went into it And so I'm gonna be making a video really soon I promise because it's a lot of you guys are interested a lot of you guys want to kind of get into shape um, and just kind of make some some life changes and if you guys haven't already make sure you click that like notification bell thingy the you know the little bell that lets you know that I posted um, I'm gonna be posting a bunch more videos from now on guys I promise and remember like consistency is my absolute goal with this the heck? what's up for those of you guys wondering this is this is what it, this is what I look like when I'm like walking around like <laughs> with this hold up look at this look at this thing this, this thing is like massive. Um, but yeah guys, so um, the, my, my, apps, my goal is to stay as consistent as possible with these, uh, with these videos. Uh, I'm gonna be posting on here. I'm gonna keep the main channel. We're also doing Unplanned. If you guys haven't subscribed or watched the podcast, um, me and Farhan, Mr. Mr. Matt Madison started a new podcast channel called Unplanned. Um, I'll put the link in the descri de ah, description. Please check it out, it's dope. We have an awesome time making it. Um, but yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Um, you guys support means the world to me. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you. Hmm. What am I gonna say? I'll see you guys soon. All right, maybe next week. Ah. All right, peace. Love you. Stop playing. Stop playing with me. Is this thing finally on now? What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Sinwala Wan, also known as Sam. And welcome to my life, guys.